and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit tender today. <laughs> We are leaving our apartment in Sofia to head to the Black Sea. Um, one thing to know if you're staying in Sofia is that a lot of the apartments have many flights of stairs and not a lot of them have elevators, so just be prepared that if you've got suitcases you will probably have to lug them up quite a few stairs. <laughs> so our final destination today is Saint-Moritz or Sindemore or I don't know, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, but we decided that we'll stop off in Burgas uh, on the way. We've got a little picnic lunch so we'll have that there. So the drive to Burgas is I think about three and a half hours. So that is the first leg of this journey. We've made it to our first stop. We are in Burgas. We've parked up. It was a really easy drive for you and <laughs> really easy for me too. I just sat there. Um, and it took us about three and a half hours and it's pretty much straight motorway from Sofia. So yeah, pretty straightforward. We're here, we've parked in a parking uh, lot and we're now walking to a place called Sea Garden, which I read is quite nice, a little park by the sea. So we've got our little pat lunch, and we're gonna go and have that before heading to our final destination for today. It's nice to be down at the water. It's nice to see water and we're hoping in the next few days to do a little bit of sea swimming if it's not too cold. But we're from Scotland and if you've watched our previous vlogs, we've done quite a bit of sea swimming in Scotland. So we're used to the cold water really. Actually saying that, I'm not really sure I'm used to it <laughs> because I am a bit of a wimp when it comes into uh, going into cold water. So yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that, but I'll do it though. I'm up for giving it a go. So it might not be the prettiest beach down here at Burgas, but what I do like about it is there's lots of little bars, and um, just kind of, well not loads, but a kind of handful of little kind of cocktail-y type bars just uh, perched up from the beach and they're all, they all look really cute actually. It looks like the perfect place to come like on an afternoon and just like drink cocktails and get sozzled by the beach. But we're not going to do that because we're going to head now to our next port of call. We've arrived in Saint Moritz, Sinemore, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and it's fly central. We're literally getting attacked by lots of tiny little flies. One flew into my eyeball, it made me scream. Um, but apart from that, the sun has actually come out. Amazing. It's actually a really nice evening. We've checked into our accommodation. We're staying in a little place called Villa Zelenica. It's a really cute uh, little place. There's only a few rooms. It's actually fully booked just now. And uh, the price for three nights for two of us, room only, no breakfast, um, was less than £100. So that is pretty good. I think it probably works out about kind of just over £30 a night for the two of us. So you cannot complain. Um, so what we're going to do now is just have a little wander around this cute little village. Um, apparently there's a really nice uh, cocktail bar. So we're going to head there and hopefully get a table. The one thing that I've read about this place is that because it's so small and there's actually not many restaurants, a lot of them you have to book ahead of time. 
but we're hoping that because we're here in September we might get lucky and we might not have to kind of book ahead but we'll see but to be honest there's there's plenty of restaurants that if kind of one or two are fully booked we'll be able to find somewhere else it's quite like Scotland really it's quite rugged and green and sunny that's when it stops being like Scotland <laughs> This place is so cute. It's amazing. It's really cool. It's got a really good vibe. A lot of um, cocktails and the view is to die for. What a great little find. So I had two cocktails at the cocktail bar and I'm feeling a little bit tipsy because <laughs> I'm such a lightweight. And I've ordered a glass of wine just to tip me over the edge. But um, we managed to get here without having to have a reservation. Yeah! And we've ordered a shepherd salad as recommended by one of our viewers, Patrick. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, we've ordered chips with cheese because we love them. Thank you. And we have ordered some mackerel because, you know, we're by the sea, so we may as well have some seafood. So I've ordered a little brandy. Um, I ordered a plum brandy that I thought was actually going to be quite sweet, but I, then I remembered once I smelt it that I've made this mistake before and thought it was going to be sweet and it's not. So it smells like whiskey, like full on like whiskey. And they've also given me a whole glass of ice to put in it. So I think I'm going to do that just to kind of like uh, water it down a little bit. But today was the funeral of a friend of mine who unfortunately I wasn't able to go to the funeral, um, but I am raising a glass in memory of her. So cheers, Veronica. I'll never forget you. It's the morning after the night before, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit tender today. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a headache. Um, I did have four drinks. Four drinks! <laughs> for someone that doesn't really drink that much, that's quite a lot for me. I was a little bit tipsy, I'm not going to lie. One thing I will say is a mistake that I made last night, which I did the last time and forgot as well. I thought, oh, brandy. I'm going to have a nice brandy after my dinner. A little, what's the word? It's not aperitif because that's before the meal. I can't remember what the name is when you have something afterwards. But I thought, oh, that would be nice. A nice sweet brandy. As we all know, brandy is normally quite sweet. Um, so, yeah, that's what I thought I would do. So I ordered the plum brandy that was on the menu, thinking, oh, that sounds nice. And when it came, it tasted like whiskey. It wasn't sweet in any way whatsoever. It was completely like drinking whiskey. So I think that is what actually sent me over the edge. So it's quite strange that the brandy here is not sweet. Uh, so yeah, just letting you know that in case you're ever here and you fancy a brandy and think it's going to be a, a sweet drink. It won't be. It'll taste like whiskey. So there's three beaches that I want to visit while we're here and this morning we're going to the first one. I kind of feel like it might help to blow away the cobwebs, a little bit of a sea swim. Might make me feel better and help the hangover. So the first one we're going to is called Vileka Beach and I think it's just about a 10 minute walk from here. And what's cool about this beach is that on one side you've obviously got the sea, but on the other side you've got the Vileka River. So it's literally just a strip of sand in between the two. So you can choose where you want to swim. Do you want to swim in the river or do you want to swim in the sea? I really like it down here. It's really nice. And you know what? It's just like the perfect temperature. It's not too hot. It's not cold. It's just perfect. In all the times we've been to Bulgaria, we've never been to the sea. 
So this is my first swim in Bulgarian water. The Black Sea. Let's do it. Cold, really salty actually. More salty than <laughs> the saltiest sea, but that's good. It's good. Oh, So the one thing I'll say that is slightly annoying about this beach is that there's lots of sand flies and I always uh, get bitten really bad by sand flies so I'm slightly concerned, I'm like constantly shaking like my legs to get rid of them. Behind me is a really cool rock um, that you can see and it's actually uh, called the Sphinx and if you view it from this angle from the beach it does look like the profile of a person. So we've had a really nice morning at the beach. Uh, we ended up moving from the sea part to the river part and actually we both preferred it there. It was a bit quieter and also there weren't any sand flies so that was a bonus. Um, also, they rent out pa paddle boards there. So I think before we leave this place, we're gonna come back and do a little bit of paddle boarding. That'll be fun. But for now, we're gonna go and have lunch and then we're gonna head out to the next beach. We're making our way to the second beach, which is the main beach of this uh, place. So we'll put the name on the screen, and yeah, beach numero two. This beach is way busier, way bigger and way busier. I'm not sure it's our cup of tea, but we'll go and have a look. We found a little area just at the end of the beach where there's a little uh, river, and it's really quiet here. There's no one else here, so this is where we've decided to perch ourselves for the next couple of hours. We stopped at a little restaurant called Horizont that's quite near where we're staying. Uh, the lady who owns a hotel that we're staying at, she recommended this. We've ordered calamari, we've ordered a salad and we've ordered chips and cheese. This is becoming part of our routine now. I was just looking back at like something I recorded earlier, well about an hour ago, and my face, it looks all white. I look like I'm getting ready to, you know, perform on stage or something as a ghost. It's because I can't get this sun cream into my face, so I've got this kind of, so that's what it is if you're wondering. I don't wear some weird white makeup. Um, so anyway, getting back to the dinner, calamari was really tasty, nice and fresh, fried potatoes, beautiful with the cheese, can't beat that, and the salad was lovely as well. Blue cheese, olives, tomato, nice. 